It's arguably the most dangerous part of the game, hits from behind. It's the reason some parents and players decide to go into non-contact house leaks. Though that wasn't enough to protect a 15-year-old who this week was allegedly hit from behind and driven head first into the boards. Tonight, he's undergoing major back surgery at Sick Kids Hospital, and his parents have a message for those in charge of Canada's game. I never thought in my lifetime that I would be standing here in front of uh, Sick Kids Hospital with my child with a broken back uh, from playing hockey. There has to be some stronger education to the referees and to the players and to the coaches about hitting from behind. This was the nightmare scene Monday evening. 15-year-old Lachlan Barkley motionless on the ice as firefighters and EMS load his young broken body onto a stretcher. Our son went into the sideboards to get a puck and another player came from uh, across the ice. There was a stick involved over the back and he got his head drove right down into the boards and then the impact, I knew that there's no way he could, anyone could have withstood that impact. When we flipped him over, his face was grey, he was just making noises like he couldn't breathe and uh, that went on for... <laughs> The result, five fractured vertebrae. What did the doctor say, Jeff, when he looked at the x-ray of your son's back? Oh, he was confused. He thought it was a, a car accident. The impact was so great. The incident took place in the last minute of a non-contact house league midget game in Keswick. Midget is the only division in Canadian minor hockey where a three-year age gap is allowed for players. Normally, it's just two years. Lisa and Jeff Barkley believe the boy who hit their son is three years older. Is there anything that Lachlan did earlier in the game that could have instigated uh, some animosity at the end of the game? No. Our son's one of the kindest, most considerate people you'll ever meet. He wouldn't hurt a fly. In Ontario minor hockey, checking from behind results in a four-game suspension for a second offence, six games for a third offence, and an indefinite suspension for a fourth offence. One minor hockey referee we spoke with today believes that needs to change. Should any minor hockey player be given a fourth opportunity to hit someone from behind? No, it's difficult to me to believe if it's majors or match penalties, that's far, that's out of control. It's, uh, they've got to clamp down. The kids are quitting playing hockey because they're getting hurt. In my opinion, if you hit from behind, even just once, you're off, you're gone. City News reached out to the OMHA today. They told us no one was available for an interview. In an emailed statement, they tell us this unfortunate situation has no place in our game. Our thoughts go out to Lachlan and the Barkley family in hopes of a speedy recovery. An on-ice penalty was assessed and the player has been suspended indefinitely pending a hearing. We asked the family if they thought what took place on the ice warranted a criminal investigation. This is young Lachlan's take. He's more concerned about the kid who hit him. He said, Mom, I don't want anything bad to happen to him because he's playing the game and I know he wouldn't try to hurt me. Lachlan's parents tell me they're thankful to the Georgina hockey community and the league who've started a GoFundMe page. I also spoke with them this evening and they say he's out of surgery and doctors believe Lachlan will be able to make a full recovery and lead a normal life.